Hey guys, Little Reap here, back again with an E3 commentary. What's up guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm so excited to bring this commentary. I watched all the E3 press conferences and they're finally over. And I just, I'm so blown away guys by all these new games, all this in innovation of like, um, just like really the indie games really stood out for me in this e uh, in, at this E3 and uh, I really felt like I was really eager to come back uh, to do this commentary to uh, talk about E3 to talk about my favorite moments and um, yeah I'm just excited guys I really feel like gaming is starting to, to go some uh, go forward to uh, uh, next gen and uh, really starting to bring really cool things they're also bringing back a lot of great games and I uh, this commentary alone would not be able to cover just every single thing so uh, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, several things that really uh, stood out for me well I want to start it off with Star Wars Battlefront uh, like I said in my previous commentary uh, was, I was really looking forward to it and it did not let me down it looks really great they showed some in-game engine stuff and uh, the game so far is coming along well I love that they visited uh, the site a uh, movie sites or, uh, from the films and uh, that to just to give it that extra uh, level of, of detail and to make it like a genuine experience of Star Wars of the Star Wars universe so I was excited to see that and it really it really got me excited I can't wait till they show some gameplay oh, man I'm, I'm really looking forward to that the next thing that uh, that really got to me was the Halo Master Chief Collection which was rumored to be at E3, and it, but now it's official. Uh, it's all the Halo games, all in one bundle, with including the Halo 2 anniversary, <clears throat> which is awesome. I, I, I love the detail. It looks great in HD. Uh, they showed some of the multiplayer as well on one of my favorite maps, uh, too. And uh, it looks great. I, they also pointed out that the multiplayer for Halo 2 will be left untouched. Uh, it's going to be a classic Halo 2 multiplayer, which is amazing. I love the Halo 2 multiplayer, and I love the fact that they're not going to mess with it or try to make make it different. It's going to be just classic Halo 2 in HD. So I am so up for that. Uh, really makes me want to get an X uh, an Xbox One, not just only for that, but for other games that are coming out for the Xbox that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about was for the Nintendo Digital Event was Legend of Zelda now that this this blew me away as well I'm glad they're bringing it back the, they even pointed out that in this in the screenshot of the the little clip of gameplay they showed that the mountains in the background are actually travelable and they even pointed out that a, a far a, a behind those mountains there's actually more level to explore and that just truly shows uh, how amazing that game's gonna be they even gave Link a whole new look which I, I don't mind. He looks great, and uh, I, I I like it. But a lot of some people didn't like it, but I, I I actually liked it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing more of that. That that just blew me away. I think Nintendo did a great job at E3. Uh, I love how they started it off with like a robot chicken vibe. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave a description below. You should definitely check out all these press conferences if you're a gamer, if you're into gaming, uh, if you're part of the gaming community, because uh, it really uh, lets you guys know where we stand uh, with like games and uh, where um, you know the industry is going towards or what they're moving towards to uh, and uh, it really shows you know that they really uh, want to do bigger and better things and I have like a lot of respect for that because I myself want to do bigger and better things with my channel and with my videos too so the next thing I want to talk about is the Sunset Overdrive. I wanted to talk about this because I I was blown away by just the gameplay alone and the gameplay itself reminded me of a very, my very favorite one of my very favorite games which is called Jet Set Radio. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend uh, uh, looking it up because that game, I believe that game came out with the original Xbox. It was an awesome game. It's about skating and grinding on rails and off walls and pulling off sick jumps while collecting spray cans to uh, to uh, spray graf graffiti on on, um, on on buildings and also fight enemies with the spray cans. 
Uh, it's a great game. I love that game. And that Sunset Overdrive reminded me of that game because of its humor, because of its uh, just overall appealness. And it just looked like an awesome and fun game to play. And also, I'm a sucker for zombie mutant horror games too. So it has that as well. So it really looks like it's coming together really well. The last thing I want to talk about is the No Man's Sky. Uh, this game really blew me away at E3. Um, it was really mind blowing to see the level of detail for this indie developer, and it just looks like it's going to be a great game. I'm a sucker for space theme uh, video games, uh, whether it's like uh, has to do with horror or not. Mass Effect, Doom. Uh, these sci-fi games are. I'm just a sucker for those sci-fi games. I love sci-fi. I love horror. I'm a really big fan of just the whole theme, the whole genre. So this game just really, I, I I fell in love with it, guys. I really fell in love with this game. I love the fact that when you're in a, you can go from your planet to space almost seamlessly, no loading screen. You can go explore other planets, and uh, really, it just looks like it's going to be a massive undertaking for the developer, and it, I think it'll be worth it in the end. Also, the, the 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 developer said that the, that every time you start the game over, you'll never be on the same planet. So it'll always be a different game when you play it, and uh, that's a big positive plus for me because I, lo- I know some games can get repetitive, but this game looks like it's going to be a really awesome, fun, and just really uh, big and colossal sci-fi adventure. Basically, I really think it's going to be that, guys. So. I just wanted to talk about E3. Uh, there's so much that I wish I could cover, but I couldn't do it in this video. So uh, I really wanted to thank you guys for dropping by. I hope you guys were excited for E3 as I was. And uh, if you have any thoughts or comments you want to leave, please leave them below because I love reading your comments, guys. Uh, thanks again for dropping by. Like always, guys, this has been Little Reap, and I'll catch you guys later. Later.